In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple logo with a slogan using Serif Draw Plus X5. So once uh, Serif Draw Plus X5 opens what you want to do is click on Start New Drawing and um, it'll ask you for um, different um, sort of page shapes so for example you have A3, A4 um, A5, um, apologize I meant page sizes um, so in this example we're going to choose just A4 to keep it simple and it should load up now um, at the mo moment it's um, portrait but if we want to set it to landscape what we do is go up here and select um, set page to landscape and we can start designing our logo so on the left hand side we've got uh, the toolbar down here um, which allows, which has lots of different tools, but um, the tool that I'm interested in for now is the shape tool, and the shape that I'm going to use for my logo is a quick donut tool. So I'll select that and then just drag it out here um, as so. And um, what we want to do is perhaps uh, slightly change the shape of this. So what we'll do is click on the node tool and we can change the shape as we want so let's just keep it like that um, okay and uh, let's click back on the pointer tool and maybe we can rotate it uh, it might be easier to rotate it this way okay there we go and we want to add some color to this tool so we go to the color wheel the, down here and we're going to set, select an appropriate color so um, let's just go for a reddish color and you could also select the outline color by selecting up here and the um, the, the fill color but we're just going to keep it as it is so we're going to move it into an appropriate position and then we want to insert some text so we go down here on the text tool and we want to add um, we want to select the artistic artistic text tool so we want to just select the size of our text and we can write the name of our company down and I'm just going to keep it as that um, so that's the name of our company and you can resize it just by sizing it this way or you can change it, you can resize it up here as well so just and um, we're going to change the font slightly so the font tool is up here and we're going to select a suitable font and you'll notice that as we go through the different fonts you can see a live preview of the different fonts and uh, I quite like the look at that font so um, it's called Umbra BT so I'm going to keep it as that and just move it into the right position and so that's our um, that's our logo designed and um, I'm just going to put a slogan in um, so slogans are basically um, uh, just like a saying for the company for example um, McDonald's have just do it um, McDonald's sorry Nike have just do it um, McDonald's have um, I'm loving it um, so these are examples of slogans so um, for my slogan I'm gonna keep it fairly simple so instead of using the artist art, well I could use art artistic uh, text tool or you could if you want to put writing in you can use this frame text tool but I'm just going to stick to the artistic text tool for now and I'm going to put whoops just going to select that and then click on the artistic text tool and then um, I can write my text down which is down here and um, my slogan will be called simply tutorials and then we can make that slightly bigger so it can be viewed and we can position that into yeah maybe we'll position it here okay and then again we can change the font and we'll get a live uh, font preview um, so let's just use undercurrent BTN as you can see it's just kind of gone out, it's 
it's gonna uh, so we're just gonna resize that and we could add some sort of effects to um, this shape here so you've got lots of different effects down here that you can select from um, so if we go to styles and you can browse through the different um, effects that you want to have if you click on this you've got lots of different effects you can add and you could have a little play around yourself for example you could add shadow effects so um, let's just see um, yeah okay let's stick with shadow and what we do is we we can select lots of different effects here so let's just say we want to select this one let's call a lift shadow we drag it into the area where we want it and there you go you've got a bit of a bit of an effect if you don't like the um, the effect that you've just applied you can just undo it but for this example I'm just going to keep it as it is um, I'm going to position this outside of the shadow area um, and once we're happy with it and once you're happy with it then um, you can save it and export it so um, let's just talk you through saving the actual logo so for example if you want to continue working on this document you would just click on save and you'd save it into an appropriate area and that would mean that once it's closed um, it will be exported in a, a Ceres Draw Plus document and you can work on it at a later stage if you're happy with it uh, then you could export it. I would recommend that you save it and export it um, so basically in the future if you wanted to make any amendments you can um, go to the save document depending on where you save it and edit it but uh, and you could also export it so I'm going to show you the export wizard so um, what we're going to do before we export it let's just select everything okay so make sure everything's selected and you can also group it as well so what grouping does is that if you move anything around it will move together and if we go to export and you can export it as an image um, now you can export it as a PNG file what PNG files um, usually do is uh, support transparent backgrounds so if you had a colored document for example like just say you, you wanted to put this logo on a document which had um, uh, maybe a red Oh, sorry, a yellow background then um, you won't get the white areas around the actual logo um, and there's lots of different file types you can export it to for example like JPEG but obviously this does not support transparent background so you'd see the white area um, around the logo if you were to put it into any image or any other document so I would suggest you saving it as a PNG which is Portable Network Graphics um, I'd keep all the other settings the same and just click on export and it will give you um, a an area of where to export it to and you can just give it a name and um, uh, if we just write down logo and click on save and it will be exported Okay, so that, this is a simple video tutorial on how to create a logo in Serif Draw Plus X5. Thank you for watching.